hello and welcome to a new video in this video i'm going to show you how to resize a logical volume in linux centos 7 with simple lvm commands so lvm stands for logical volumes and before we do that let, let me explain to you what we have here this is a virtual machine that I have created on my laptop here and the host is Windows system and I am using the hypervisor virtual box originally this virtual machine had a disk space of 32 gigabytes and I had just added to it 3 gigabytes of disk space for demonstration purposes so now I have 3 gigabytes of free disk space and I want to add this 3 gigabytes of free disk space to my root logical volume. So in order to view uh, logical volumes in Linux CentOS 7, the command is LVS. So if you go to a terminal and type LVS, you will see the logical volumes that you have on your machine for me i have two logical volumes one is called root and one is called swap and as you can see the size of the root logical volume is 28 gigabytes and the size of the swap logical volume is 3 gigabytes and vg here stands for stands for volume group and i have <coughs> As you can see one volume group called CentOS and let's assume that I want to add these uh, three uh, gigabytes of free disk space to the root logical volume and if you want to view uh, the volume groups that you have on your system you can use the command VGS and as uh, you I already know I have one uh, volume group on my system called CentOS so LV here is uh, logical volume and the number two here means that the, the logic the logical volumes the number of logical volumes created out of this volume group and PV here stands for uh, physical volume so I am uh, using one uh, physical volume in this volume group and as you can see here the size of this uh, volume group is 31 gigabytes so if I add to it the 3 gigabytes uh, of free uh, disk space that I have the size of this uh, volume group is going to become 34 gigabytes and in order to do that i'm going to create a physical volume out of the uh, free three gigabytes of free disk space that i have and then add that physical volume to this uh, volume group and i am going to show you how to do that with simple lvm commands in order to view the devices that you have uh, on your system you can use the command lsblk which is which, which is a short for list block hit enter and you will see the devices that you have on your system and as you can see we uh, here we have sdi1 <coughs> sorry which is for boot and we have sda2 uh, SDA1 has one gigabyte uh, one size of one gigabyte and SDA2 has a size of 31 gigabytes and as you can see here SDA2 uh, we created of it two uh, logical volumes one is root with the size of 28 gigabytes and one is swap with the size of three gigabytes as we have seen uh, 
earlier with the command uh, LVS so this is root 28 gigabytes and this is swap 3 gigabytes so this is another uh, way to view the uh, logical volumes but what I do not see here with LSBLK is my 3 uh, gigabytes of free disk space <coughs> so what I see here what I see here is 31 gigabytes for SDA2 and 1 gigabyte for SDA1 which is in total 32 but I have the total size as 35 so I have 3 gigabytes missing so where can I see those uh, 3 gigabytes and how can I allocate them and if you do so in order to see the uh, free disk space that I do not see here I can use the command cf disk and if I hit enter you can see here that I have free space that is not allocated so the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, create a a new uh, partition with this free space so if I use uh, uh, the arrow keys so with up and down arrow keys I go to free space and with right and left arrow keys I go to new and I hit enter and I choose uh, primary and I hit enter and then I hit enter again for the size so I'm going to use the full size of the free space but you can use less if you want to and now I have created my S SDA3 primary partition of uh, type Linux I'm going to write <coughs> uh, these changes so if I scroll to the right uh, option and hit enter and then I get asked if I want to write these changes to the partition table I'm going to say yes and hit enter and now my changes are saved and I quit I can quit the CF disk uh, utility now if I do LS BLK my SDA3 partition does not show up so the reason it does not appear here is that it's not of type uh, LVM uh, uh, sorry I mean it's not uh, of the type uh, same type as as SDA1 and SDA2 so to solve this issue I'm going to open the G parted uh, tool so type G parted and hit enter and it's going to open uh, the tool here so uh, as you can see here SDA2 is of type <coughs> LVM2 uh, PV so I'll, I'll, I'm going to uh, uh, format SDA3 with the same file system so I'm, so I'm going to right click then format 2 and then choose LVM2 PV and in order to apply these changes click here to apply uh, the operations and then apply again and then close the gparted tool then I'm going to clear my screen and do lsblk again and now I am able to see my SDA3 partition the next thing I'm going to do uh, in the process of adding this uh, free disk space to my root logical volume is create a physical volume so I'm going to do pv create space slash dev slash sda3 hit enter and my physical volume has been successfully created next I need to identify the volume group uh, to uh, which I am extending with this uh, SDA3 with this uh, SDA3 uh, uh, physical volume so in order to identify 
the volume group I can use the command that I showed you earlier which is uh, VGS so the volume group that I try to extend here is uh, CentOS so I want to extend it from 31 to 34 and in order to extend this volume group CentOS I can use the command VG extend so the syntax for this command is VG extend and then the name of my volume group which is CentOS and then the name of my new physical volume which is dev slash sda3 and if I hit enter it's telling me that the volume group CentOS has been successfully extended so if I do VGS again I'm going to get the new size of 34 gigabytes because I have added 3 gigabytes to 31 and in the column of physical volumes I have two here because now I have added an, uh, a new physical volume to this volume group and if I want to view the complete uh, information about my volume groups I can use the command VG display and this is uh, full information of the volume uh, groups that I have in my system for me I have just one physical uh, one volume group called CentOS of type LVM2 and it has two uh, logical volumes sent uh, root and swap and two physical volumes and the full size of this volume group is 34 gigabytes as you can see here and this is the uh, universal identifier of this volume group and as you can see here on this line I have free uh, space of 3 gigabytes so the th these 31 uh, gigabytes have been already allocated to logical volumes so if you remember 28 have been allocated to the root logical volume and 3 gigabytes have been allocated to the swap uh, logical volume and the remaining 3 gigabytes that you have just added have not been allocated yet so this three, uh, these 3 gigabytes of this volume group are free to be allocated to uh, any logical volume the next thing we need to do is identify the logical volume that, you, that we want to extend and for this we can use either the command LVS or LV display and LV display shows full information of logical uh, volumes and LVS show, shows just uh, brief information of logical volumes so if I clear my screen here and do LVS and this is a command that we have seen earlier uh, in the beginning of this video so I have two uh, logical volumes root and swap and as I said we want to extend the root logical volume and if you do LV display you will see full information about the logical volumes that you have uh, on your system so this first part here is the uh, swap logical volume and this second part here is the root logical volume what I am interested here is the path of the logical volume so the path to the uh, root logical volume is slash dev slash centos slash root and we are going to need this path to extend uh, this logical volume so I'm going to clear my screen here to get a better view and run this command again 
and then here I'm going to show you the command to uh, extend the root logical volume so the command is and of course you need to be root to run this command so the command is lv extend uh, dash l then to plus 100 percent free and then uh, the path to my logical volume which is slash dev slash cent os slash root and then before i hit enter i'm going to explain what this means so lv extend means that i want to extend a logical volume dev slash cent os slash root this is the path to my logical volume that i want to extend and plus 100 percent free means i'm going to use 100 percent of the free disk space that i have which is for me three gigabytes if i put here uh, 50 percent it means that i'm going to take 50 percent of my free uh, space and add it to this logical volume which is going to be 1.5 gigabytes for me but for me i'm going to use 100 percent so i'm going to add all the three gigabytes to the root logical volume and if i hit enter it's going to say logical volume uh, root successfully resized so if i do uh, lvs again you will see that the size of my root uh, logical volume went from 28 to 31 and this and this means that i have successfully uh, resized my logical uh, volume root the last thing we need to do is extend the file system i'm going to clear my screen here if i type here the command df dash h and hit enter as you can see here the the root uh, logical volume still has uh, 28 gigabytes uh, of space instead of 31 although i extended the logical volume and to fix this i need to extend the file system in order to see uh, the file system uh, type you can use the command ls blk dash f and as you can see my root my root logical volume is of type xfs so i'm going to to type this command xfs underscore growth uh, grow sorry grow fs space slash dev slash centos slash root and it's telling me that data blocks have changed and in fact they have been increased so now if i do df dash h again i should have uh, 31 and i do indeed so the root logical volume has now 30, 31 gigabytes instead of 28 and with this uh, we can say that we have finished extend uh, finished extending our root logical volume and using these commands and these steps you can extend any other partition on your system you just have to ensure that you have that you are using uh, logical volumes and you need to know the partition that you are extending and with this we have reached the end of this tutorial i hope it has been helpful for you and thank you for watching